welcome back to Beyond the Studio Pilates, my name's Hannah and today I'm going to take you through an advanced mat work session. So this isn't quite right for beginners, please check out my other playlists for videos more suitable for beginners. You need to have done a couple of years of Pilates to really be able to get the most out of this workout. Let's get going. So I'm going to come gently down onto the mat. <laughs> the first thing we need to think about is our setup so feet to knees and hips need to be in a line pelvis in neutral little gap under that low back head facing the ceiling so make sure you're not either tilting your head backwards or tucking your chin under think about your head staying in a nice neutral position where you've got that nice little curve in your cervical vertebrae arms just gently resting on the floor and then we're going to bring them into the air, palms are facing, from here we're going to bring both legs up into tabletop, knees over hips, shins parallel with the ceiling. Going to imagine you have an elastic band from your right hand to your left knee and your left hand to your right knee. We're holding in the middle for an inhale and then exhale. We're just going to take a pair out to the side. So they can go out so they're at roughly the same angle Make sure your opposite knee doesn't move away to compensate or your hip doesn't roll off the floor. Hips must stay on the floor. Opposite knee and arms stay in position. Holding for an inhale and then exhale. Bring them back to the centre. Hold here for an inhale and then exhale. Other side. Hold for an inhale and exhale. Holding in the middle for an inhale, exhale. So don't let your back arch or your belly dome and you're just taking that arm and leg out as far as you can hold it and then gently bringing it back in. I want you to imagine you have an elastic band from your knee to your hand and you're slowly bringing it back to the middle you're not letting it snap you back to the middle so it's a nice slow controlled movement and we're going to do three more to each side holding for an inhale and then exhale coming back to the center so this is really working into your deep core muscles building a nice strong and stable foundation Really use the breathing to control the movement. Final time to each side. And then bring one leg down two legs down and bring your arms down by your sides. Arms staying on the floor this time but your legs are coming back up. You're going to bring your knees and feet together and then you're going to bring your knees out to the side and keep your feet together. Arms are on the floor but make sure you're not death gripping the floor so if you need to just turn your palms up so that you're not pushing down into the floor. Feet together and then we're going to do a little push and we're going to hold it for 30 seconds. So you're going to just push your feet into each other for 30, starting now. I'll tell you when to stop. And then let it go. Just release those legs off, give them a little bit of a wiggle if they need it. Feet back together. We're going to do that two more times. So pushing the soles of your feet together for 30 seconds, starting now. Make sure you're not holding your breath. And then release again, give those legs a little waggle. And then bring those feet back together, final time, core on. Pushing those feet together, starting now. And then release 
releasing off. Give those legs a little waggle, bring them back to the floor and we're going to go into our roll up. So you can either take your legs out so they are long along the floor or you can keep your knees bent if that is better. If you have your resistance band you can always bring your band around your feet so that you can use the band and then we're going to bring our arms over our heads taking an inhale then we're going to exhale bring your arms to the ceiling inhale here and then exhale tucking your chin and you're going to slowly roll up to sitting sitting up nice and tall taking an inhale and then you're going to exhale tuck your chin tilt your pelvis you can use the band to support you if you need it and you're going to slowly roll yourself back down to the mat bring your arms over your head holding for an inhale and then exhale arms to the ceiling hold for an inhale core on exhale chin tucked and roll yourself back up to sitting make sure you're coming up to sitting nice and tall on those sit bones hold for an inhale exhale tilt your chin tuck your pelvis all the other way around and slowly roll back down to the mat arms over your head hold for an inhale and then exhale hands to the ceiling hold for an inhale exhale tucking your chin rolling yourself back up to sitting sitting up nice and tall hold for an inhale exhale nice slow controlled movement back to the mat remember you're articulating through each vertebrae going to do two more like this inhaling here exhale arms to the ceiling inhale then exhale nice controlled roll up to sitting inhale here exhale gently back down to the mat arms over your head take an inhale and exhale hands to the sky final time inhale exhale tilting your chin rolling back up and back to sitting nice and tall we're staying at the mat this time inhale exhale tilting your pelvis slowly rolling back down to the mat and this time you can give yourself a full body stretch thanks for joining my advanced mat work today i hope you found it really beneficial check out my playlist and please subscribe to my channel if you're enjoying my videos and i hope to see you on a mat again very soon bye for now